Hello everyone, you are watching Post Setup Programming and in this video I will show you how to write the program for week 8 program 2 of problem solving through programming in C. So the question says, write a C program to find the power of a given number using recursion. The number and the power to be calculated is taken from the test case. Okay. So the test cases are 5 and 2 which will give 5 to the power 2 is 25 and 10 to the power 4 is 1. 10,000. So the calling of the recursive function is already given as result equals to power num comma power. So now what we have to do is write the power function. So since it is a long power, so we have to write long power integer p is an integer raised power or the power it has to be raised. So simple two line code if power raised is not equals to zero, then it will call the recursive function as base into power when the power will be uh, made, made into power equals to power raised minus 1 so it will decrease the power every time it is called and multiply the number with once multiply the no number once every time the recursive uh, function is called and if it is not equals to 0 it will again return if it will return 1 else it will return to the long power function simple program let us compile and submit ok both test cases have been passed and let us submit it ok so we have made this correctly now program number 3 of week 8 so this program says to print the binary equivalent of an integer using recursion. So the calling of the binary function binary conversion num is already written and so we have to write the binary conversion function. So we take the function as integer binary conversion as it is already given in the program that it will be an int function. So the input will be in decimal so we are taking the decimal number and then we will return it. So if decimal equals to equals to 0 if this number gets equals to 0 it will return 0 else it will return to the same function the recursion function which is binary conversion and it will divide the decimal by 2 and add it with 10 into binary conversion decimal by 2 so this will be a rough line for everyone who is new to recursion because this does all the many processes in one line so when you will run this program and then see at the comp debug using a compiler you will see that each step will make run the loop it will get into the binary loop sorry binary conversion function and it will again add or add the one or add zero to the uh, to the decimal number dec and it will uh, make it the way it is so if it is 10 it will print so if it is 10 it will give output as 10 10 so recursion can be easily done in one line program you have to use uh, debug it in a compiler and check how it is okay so let us compile it here Okay, both cases has been passed and let's submit it now. Okay, we got both of the answers correct. So now we will go for the fourth program. So we have to reverse the number using a function. It is a simple program. So half of the main function is given so we can we have the capability to write a, any way we want to. So I have taken an integer size which will be equals to str length ok so str length is str1 now reverse I will call the function reverse and it will take the uh, parameters as str1 which will be our character array and the size minus 1 which will be the end point of the array and 0 which will be the starting point or it can be uh, said as index or size so we have done a palindrome number program previously so this is the three steps of the palindrome number program and if 
the index equals to equals to size okay so by two so if it has enter if it has exceeded the length half of the length then it will then if it is written the value and or else it will call the recursive function and add one to the index uh, so that if if the size is 10 it will start from 0 and when it is 6 it will return the value for to the main function and it will print the string so let us compile it again and check for the answers okay both cases has been passed and accept so these programs were written by me before recording because there was some problems occurring because of the compiler so i had to write the program beforehand and then make the videos and the problem number one was is creating some problems because i'm i'm not able to get 100 percent in the in that program so i will post it post that video latest by tomorrow or day after tomorrow yeah, and i'll end this video with this and please subscribe to our channel we are rapidly growing we have 60 subscribers uh, in last month so i want a channel to reach 400 subscribers mark thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video